I will explain you. Okay, now you should give a title. For example, impediment tracker. Just give impediment tracker. Impediment tracker. Impediment tracker. Okay, just scroll. One just minute. Tick. One minute. Yeah. Okay, just enter. Now this is the title. Title of the page. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to add any table, see, actually, actually speaking, you can see in the top right. You can see in the top. There is a top top. There are like emojis, right? Top top emojis. Mm -hmm. B I. Just scroll back. Yeah. Right side. You can see one. Yeah. Right side. Yeah. The table 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 table. After the emoji, you are able to see one. Yes. Click on that. Now a table is. Getting created, right? So here you should have the impediment. Impediment means this impediment tracker will be looking in this way. Just type, type. No, no. Wait, wait. Just type impediment. What is that impediment? Okay. Just what is that impediment? Okay. Then you can have the priority. Priority one column. Priority. Just you can type, 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 type. Don't do anything. Okay. Just type priority. And okay. then impediment status. 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 Just put status. Then. Just, just you are having the drop down, right? Just click on the drop down. Insert. You can insert a column or insert a row, or you can delete a column also. Okay. Right now, just insert a column and have this like is owner. Exactly like how we are going to track the impediment. Yes. Like. Yes. Owner. Owner. Mm -hmm. Who is going to be the owner? And also, you can have like one more column called date when your impediment got arrived. Okay. So you can just add one more column. So, if you want to delete the column, also it is same like an Excel sheet only, whichever you are doing. Now publish, just publish, just click on publish. I will tell you how. See, this is how your page is looking. Now, if you want to edit this page, just click on the edit. Uh, top, there is an option like a but like a left. No, 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 left side. Edit right. So here. Yeah. I'm just telling. For example, owner. Owner is there, right? Just click mm -hmm. owner. We'll, uh, just below that row. Just yeah. Just put at 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 symbol. At symbol. Yeah. Now, whoever there in your team, everyone's name will be displayed here. Okay. And in the same way, if you want to mention any Jira, then you uh, do you have any Jira link? Can you can you, just keep this uh, as it is? Just go to the smart weather project. Roadmap. Just I need one user story. I need you to take one user story. Okay. This, okay. Okay. Right side. Right side. Yes. WP. Yeah. Just click on this. Yes. WP 23. Yes. Just copy this URL. Copy this URL. <coughs> yes. Now go to the impediment tracker. Whatever we are creating. Yeah. Now you can just put like yeah. There you can just copy the URL. Yes, just paste the URL. Just paste it. Paste the URL. See here, you have just entered the URL, but automatically see mm -hmm. Jira and Confluence are integrated, right? You are able to see that. Mm -hmm. So this is how you need to track your impediment. Now publish. Now publish. So whenever a new team member is joining your team, they sh you should give access to them in Jira as well as in Confluence. Okay, both access you need to give. For that, like you need to have admin access for Jira and Impediment. If you are not having, you need to ask the particular person. For example, your lead will be there, right? You need to ask them, mm -hmm. like who who can I just uh, ping for the access? You need to check. This is how you need to create an Impediment. Okay. Just you can stop sharing. I'm stop. 